Hey guys, it's Ellie. I know it's been a while, but I'm back and hopefully here to stay. I'm still struggling, but throughout all this crap, I'm trying to just get that little bit of strength I need to do this at least. I got some news coming. I can't say what it is right now, but hopefully by the end of this little series I'm gonna do here, I'll be able to just lay everything out for you guys and really explain what's been going on fully. I haven't really been very open about it. I... It would, it would explain a lot. But for now, I'm thinking, you know, I'll just um, duel. And I think it will be fun because I literally suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Like, if I were the Yu-Gi-Oh, the next Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist, I would be You Suck at Card Games. That would be my name. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm thinking we're just gonna get through a duel and see how this goes. Alright, got a little robot do. Dude, do. I can't English. Okay, the story of Yugi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey as their friends Taya and Tristan watch. Hey Joey, Earth Joey, it's your turn. Um... Aw, uh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, Yugi's here teaching me how to how to play dots. <laughs> I can't do a Brooklyn accent, so it's a little hard for me to read this. Drooling monsters? Dueling monsters, ya nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Oh Yugi, it's time to duel. I, if I remember correctly, this is just like telling you how to play the game, so this isn't even going to be like the duel. Because, yeah, I think this is just teaching you how to play. Okay, so if you don't know how to play, I guess this is a little tutorial for you. Alright, uh... Let's learn how to summon a monster. The attack position is placed vertically and a monster in defense. Horizontally face down. Let's set a monster. Okay. Well, that's dumb. Okay. Hang on, buttons. There we go. I haven't played this for so long. I did actually get through like most of this. I just started it over for the sake of YouTube. Okay, Joey's hurting himself. Oh yeah, we got 8,000 life points. You survived your first attack! You may have noticed that Joey attacked you and wound up hurting himself. Let me explain what happened. When a monster attacks a defense position monster, the attacker's attack value is compared to the defender's defense value. If the attacking monster has lower value, the attacker's owner takes damage equal to the difference. If the attacking monster has a greater value, the defending monster is destroyed. Next, we'll play a spell card and a trap card. These cards are played in the spell trap zone. Green spell cards can be played right away, but most can only be played on your main phase or main phase two. You can also set it and activate it at a later time. Okay. And yeah, you can kind of see it better in the corner when you're hovering over it so you can actually read, although I still can't read because I'm blind. Pink trap cards can be activated on your turn and during your opponent's turn, but you must set them face down on the field first. You cannot activate a trap card in the same turn that you set it, but you can activate it any time after the start of the year. Your opponent's turn. Ugh, reading is hard. I need to go back to school. Now, let's get ready to attack. Okay. So, switch to attack position. So, we 
This monster is a puppy dog. Circle. Oh, I've been hitting R2. Oops. All right. Wants me to attack with this one. And then direct attack because Joey was a dope and didn't put down any traps. And now I am my turn. Maybe this will be a full duel. We'll still do the next one though, because I feel like this one will go by really quick. <laughs> Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. I don't know if I've ever heard that term before. On his turn. Uh, on this turn, we will summon another monster. Up until now, you have only used monster soul for below. Ah, right. A tribute monster. In order to summon a monster that is level 5 or 6, you must tribute one monster. Sending a monster on your side of the field to the graveyard to summon a high level monster is called a tribute summon. So, we will take. Oh, I guess we're. Yes. And that one. Ooh, if you read the card description on the left there, you can see your Grab Crush Dragon has an effect you can trigger. Let's do that now. Let's use its effect. Send Banner of Courage to the graveyard to destroy Joy's face down card. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> gonna whoop his butt. Activate the effect of a card. Uh, what was it again? Oh wait, it wants me to activate this one? Hang on. Oh, yeah, that may be good. Let's buff up this one. Can we not? It probably wants me to activate this one. Yeah. Okay, and then I can use this one. For the tutorial sake, it just wants me to do it in. Okay. Battle phase. Yeah, we really are kicking Joey's butt, huh? And they kind of make it easy, though, so this this isn't really... Yay, we did it! What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I must have better cards. <laughs> Jeez, way to rub it in, Yugi. <laughs> My grandpa owns a game shop and I get all my best cards from him. Yuki, shut up. <laughs> Your own game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare card he's got. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Actually, he just wanted to destroy it. But, you know. I won't spoil it, even though I already did. Okay, so this is this is the real duel here, so I'm actually nervous. <laughs> that afternoon, Yuki and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yuki wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please, please. Haha, ha, how can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Ready? Here it is. The blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. 
Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever afford. Or offer. I can't read. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the blue eyes white dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. He likes to kidnap people, huh? Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa! How's the old man feeling, hmm? <laughs> Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all. With each of us putting up our most valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation, stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue eyes white dragon is a rare and powerful card and th this one will never be used against me. My blue eyes white dragon, my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards, and I taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards, and teach Kaiba... Yeah, teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Sorry, I can't read. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. Are you ready to play Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Huh? <laughs> Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself because it's time to duel. Okay, we're gonna use the story deck. Because that's more fun if you ask me. I also don't have a deck put together. <laughs> Ooh, right. Uh. Scissors. Dang it. <laughs> We're already sucking. Okay. We get to go first. It's good, right? Ooh. Alright, let's see how we do. This is where I show you guys how I duel. <laughs> Surrender. I didn't mean to do that. Um. <laughs> Okay, Exot is staying in my hand. That'd be dumb. Uh. Let's set one of these. What is this one? Destroy all monsters. Oh. That must be good too. Okay. It's our turn. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Ooh. He okay. Okay. <laughs> Please be a monster. That's not a monster. Oh no. Destroy all the monsters. I'm gonna set that. Ah oh, shoot. I don't want to get rid of Exodia. I mean that's how he wins in the in the show. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> okay. I think I can... No? I can't use... Okay. Oh my god. Why? This is do again. Whenever you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it and draw a card. I don't. I don't have one. Um, okay, well, we're gonna play this because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> we'll be in trouble. Ah, oh, he's gonna like summon more monsters and get blue eyes out though. Oh no. Uh, 
An arm. Still not what I want. Crap. I can't really do anything right now. I'm waiting for him to bring out blue eyes though to <laughs> use that one spell card. Which one is it? Yeah. Oh, I could even use that one. Because I don't have any monsters. Although, I have a monster. What does he have again? 2000. Crap. Maybe? You know what? I'm gonna do this. And then... I'll do that. And then we will try to attack. Shoot. Oh, Nikki attack. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay. End our turn. You wouldn't think you would feel so nervous in a game. <laughs> Ooh. This is good. Kind of like. Okay. God. I'm like a little nervous. Okay, let's try this. He has another one of those. What a bully. Oh, right, that ends the battle phase, doesn't it? Uh, turd. Oh, yeah, I forget I have that other spell card. Dwee. for the next turn. Okay. Also, he... Haha. <laughs> Defenseless. Okay, we did some damage. So we're actually, we're actually doing better right now. I say right now because it can quickly turn around. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does it on the next turn. Be afraid, Kaiba. Ha ha ha. Equip only to a monster your opponent. Okay, well, he doesn't have anything right now. Take control of the equip monster during each year. Standby phases, they gain a thousand. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can summon this guy. Because we have two monsters. Mm -hmm. Fancy trap card, but we're gonna take a chance. It worked. I feel like I'm really lucky in this. I didn't realize this was a continuous one. I didn't act. Oh, got another one now. I could just like bring all the cards out, but then I'm afraid. Actually, but maybe that's a good idea because we have Exodia. Duh. It's probably the whole point of that card being in this deck. I 
I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then summon this cute little guy. I don't really know what he is, but... <laughs> So close. So close. I might actually win by depleting his life points. I'm excited about that. This works. Sweet. Awesome. I actually beat Kaiba. He didn't even get a blue eyes out, man. And I didn't have to rely on Exodia. That was actually better than I expected. Holy crap. You play only for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there's nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man <laughs> sounds like a pirate <laughs> gets news of Yuki's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yuki Moto. Yay, we did it! Woohoo! Okay, well, that was the duel for the day, so. We managed to win here. <laughs> um, something cool about this is that you can like do reverse duels, so like we can play as Kaiba and then try to win as him. But this video is already pretty decently long here, so I'm not gonna do that today. But if you guys want to see me try that, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I guess for now. I'm gonna end it here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.